हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ई कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट इन लारावल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस हाउ टू मेक अ डायनेमिक मीन्स नॉट डायनेमिक हाउ टू मेक लाइक डैशबोर्ड ऑर्डर एडिट प्रोफाइल एंड चेंज पासवर्ड पेजेस इन साइड एच टी एम एल मीन्स वी आर सेटअप एच टी एम एल इन लास्ट वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कवर शो टू ऑर्डर्स सो वीन टू रिमूव दिस वन एंड वीन टू शो सेम लाइक एडमिन जस्ट यू कैन गो सो वी कैन शो लाइक टोटल ऑर्डर्स टू डे ऑर्डर्स टोटल अमाउंट एंड टू डे अमाउंट and we can show like other thing also like in progress order completed orders like delivers order cancel orders like this we can show in this video okay so same thing we have did admin side like this box we need to sort out here so before we can start you are new in the channel otherwise in this seri series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning and also do you want to buy any script just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy it here okay so let's start now so first we need to short out here like a means short out here count so first we need to remove and we can make design after we can do counts so let's go back again resources use users inside dashboard.blade.php and just remove the tab content we don't need any more just you can remove okay let's go back again refresh the page here so you can see now is clean du class here i can put like a class to now here i can put like a du class call md 3 i think 3 is good and here i can make like a totals orders let's see is working not working proportional way means uh, look like how it show not professional look like how it show let's see first just let's see because i forgot to save this files i just go back again and refresh the page so here you can see it like a total orders now here what i did now is a five so we can show here up like here you can make like a s1 otherwise let's make du and here i can make five and here also i can make du inside show total orders okay and just go back again refresh the page again let's see how it looks show okay i think spec elements and here i can make like a padding 10 px i think we don't want to put here tape padding we need to create another div here inside a and we can put here padding first we can make box proper way after other box we can do it very quick this is the reasons there was no any reasons okay so let's go back again and here i can see divs so here i can put like a padding 10 ps text align centers border 2 px solids and we can make like a like this colors okay and border radius i can do like a 5 px so look like a goods and uh, color and here i can go and i can check what is the box shadow here also there so we can go to admin sides and we can copy this box shadow like this shadows okay just copy and just go back here we can put here also so box shadow column seat let's remove 2 px now we don't need any more okay so this is the our class we can create here style and i can create like a box btn other box whatever name you can so box btn because of one type of buttons box btn and you can prove here class okay let's go back again and we can check now it's working not working so just go back again so it's showing the look like goods okay box now we can make this is the color is equal to blank i think is color is good we don't want to change just you can make like a font size bigger so look like a professional like 16s and order we can make is big also font size like this okay so look like a good and we can make font weight also bold okay so just copy and you can put it here whatever do you want to write you do you want to write inline css so also possible you don't want to write inline css 
not write inline CSS so also possible whatever you want to like you can do it now you can copy like uh, call 3 and I can paste here just go back again refresh the page so you can see another box showing so let's go to admin side so we can change like two day orders total orders here you can make like two day orders next one we can like uh, total payments total amount two day amount so just you can copy paste total amount and here i can make like a today amount okay just remove the orders words let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it here so it here showing the counting now we can do it like another boxes like a in progress order and uh, completed orders we can show only two box more so look like good this results okay we have not did admin side but here i can do so i can show you how we can do it like a admin side in progress orders and here also you can do it like pending orders we can short out also in progress order pending orders completed orders and we can do it like a cancel orders because of we can do it all cancelled orders and here you can change like a amount to orders you can add s because sometimes the many this reasons just orders okay let's go back again refresh the page here so you can see it here but here is a padding not available so always you need to make like a style margin bottom 10 px margin bottom 10 px just you can put like this either 20 need 20 i just write in line do you want to create class and you can provide also so it's possible okay whatever do you want to like you can do it your end let's save these files just to go back again refresh the page okay you can make 20 so also possible just you can search and you can change your like 20 px and replace all so it's done okay just save these files and just go back again refresh the page okay space like good i think we have changed like padding so just control z and i made a mistake so here also you can save these files just go back refresh the page because of we have also changed the padding so i can make it 20 here sorry about that just take one 30 minutes 30 seconds more i will take okay let's save these files just go back and refresh the page now we need to make all thing dynamic because of here is always like a statics so just go to user dashboards like app http controller inside the dashboards means user dashboard user controller inside you can see it like a user dashboards okay now just go to admin admin inside you can go to dashboard controller and just copy for three routes here total order total today orders total amount and today order. and you can paste here just you can go to order models so first we can go order models we need to declare here order models so just copy and paste here okay so now we need to open our database so local host php my admin and i just go to orders models and here you can see it like total order total today orders and here is also the total amount and the total today amounts so just you can add a users words and you can put like this okay just i copy all thing like this first we can make here is a condition like user part okay so that order to the order so just you can copy and paste and here you can make like an end user part and we always need to fire here user id so this user id again we need to found the count so simple you can make like where user id dollar user id is equal to dollar user id and just change here also okay and also you can pass parameter dollar user id now we need to change like a function name so you can put like a user users okay 
same thing you can go to user controller and here also you can change like a user user here also you need to pass like a user id so you can declare your authentication id like auth and here you can pass like auth users and id okay so two orders done now we need to make like a total amount and today amount so same thing we can change here like users now also you can change here users now you can copy this two function and do same like about two function we ever did okay also we are passing one parameter here so just go back again and just scroll down so here you can see orders now so scroll down here you can see it just copy and paste here and here you can change the function name like users and also you can change the function after you can pass one parameter here suppose you follow the series so we have already used like user id inside our orders db so just copy and change here paste here okay let's go back again refresh the page so you can check it's working not working i just go back again refresh the page so no any errors now above four is already done dynamic so let's make it is working not working just go to user controller and we can put like a one by one like here is 100 percent working but we need to put dynamic now total orders same thing you can change here like here today orders let's go back again variable name you can change total today orders and also you can change here totals amount so we can okay sorry i already copy proper way so just go back and change the variable same thing you can change here total amounts so you can put here total amounts and also you can put like a total today amounts let's go back again refresh the page so we can check and also you can make dollar sign and also you can put like a number format so look like a good same thing you can do it here okay let's save these files just to go back again refresh the page so you can see it here like a zero 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 because of users inside no any id there suppose i am going to orders like e-commerce tables and i just go e-commerce.coms go to orders db sorry order db inside table table means not db now here showing the user id like here is the 11 7 let's make it one one here i can put here one and also i can put here one okay because i log in as the admin so is my user id is a one so just refresh the page so you can find out some counts here you see two counts total orders today orders not there this reason today amount also not there okay so it's working very well now we need to make like pending completed cancelled count so just we need to create one function inside model other thing we need to pass here parameter so just copy get totals pending sorry status get total status users because admin said also we can do this reason just you can write the status here you can pass like a zero means pending so here you can just like total pending next one we can copy paste and just go to status and we can check the name of the variable so zero means pending one means in progress one means in progress let's click on the structure so look like a good so i can understand better way like deliver we are not did three and four we can do it also because deliver so we don't know because of we can change after this reasons okay this is the like admin said know about like like why we needed to this reason 0 1 2 3 and 4 you can see it like a total completed and total cancelled so just you can change your total completed after you can do it like total cancelled and also you can change here like a in progress okay so let's create a new function inside a orders models and if we can pass two parameter we can show here also two parameter just go up and you can copy for this count one and you can put here now here you can change and here also you can pass like a dollar status because of another parameter user id wise work this reasons okay now here you can put like another condition status and you can change here 
let us go back again and we can put this count inside a dashboard. So, other condition we need like I already payment done, he is not deleted like this condition always there, this reasons. ok. Just go back again and we can make a count for here like a total pendings, pending orders and completed whatever there. Just copy paste and after you can change the variable name. Ok, let us go back again and we can change all the variable name total in progress, total completed and total cancelled. So, let us go back again refresh the page uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ok just here is a only 4. So, you can see pending orders once in progress 0 and completed and cancel is a 0, 0 means it is working very well total orders 2. But one is the process inside the deliver this reason. So here deliver status we have not show this reason only for admin this reason. So, okay. Otherwise, no any issue. So you can see it in this video I have explained like a user dashboard. So next video we can short out orders because one one menu there, so one one video always need. So I can short out next video is the orders, then the edit profile, then the change passwords, and after last one we have remaining about like a home page. So after I can short out like a home page. And word video also we can create for this admin side. So, whatever missing we can short out inside admin side. So, I hope you are clear about like user dashboard. So, do you have any question? So, please comment out and do you want to like this video? So, please like and do you want to see like this video more? So, please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching Error Solutions.